All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So I'm in my backyard. This is my pergola. This is the Mirador 111DA pergola. I've had this installed in my backyard for about a month now. So I just want to give kind of a follow-up review, show you the things that we've kind of used it for, give you, give you my thoughts on after using it for a month, go through a little more technical stuff dimension-wise and how it's held up. This one is a 10 foot by 13 foot pergola. It's the louvered, manual louvered pergola. And the dimensions are, it's 13 feet long this way, 10 feet wide this way. This is the charcoal color. It also, it comes in this color as well as the white color. We chose this one because this, kind of this kind of meets our needs, but it comes in those different colors. And it also comes in a variety of different sizes too, a little bit larger. Uh, but this is the 10 by 13 size. Let me show you the dimensions. So these poles are 10 feet wide right here. Uh, they're a little bit less on the inside. Inside it's about uh, nine foot three inches or so on the on the inside here. Going this way, we have uh, exactly 13 feet across the length of this. Yeah, and then this is this is uh, 13 feet right to the outside edges of the pole. So the 10 by 13 dimension is on the outside of these poles. And to give you an idea on the height, this top beam here, it's about seven foot 10 inches. So that's about 93 and a half, 93 and a half inches. So it's almost eight foot tall. So this has a really nice height to it. So you, you can get into it very easily. So if you're, if you're tall or if you're gonna put some, something tall in here, it'll fit, right, uh, it'll fit very nicely underneath these, uh, these beams here. So this is an all aluminum powder coated finish on this so it's very durable it cleans up very easily we, I've done nothing to this in a month and you can see there's, there's a, just a little couple water spots it's rained a couple times but if you just get like a wet this is just a wet rag you just get this and you just wipe it off this any dirt debris things just kind of wipe right off this really easily it also has a really nice rain gutter system that when it's raining on top of these louvers it funnels the water down these poles and if you can see down here in the bottom the bottom of these poles there's a, there's uh, holes at the bottom of this pole that's where any water is going to drain out as it goes down the pole so so rainwater when the louvers are closed it's going to drain down the side it's going to drain down the pole it's going to be uh, really keep this area nice and dry these louvers can hold a good amount of snow as well so even when they're closed they can they can hold the the, the, the snow on, on top of the louvers uh, you can also just open them up snow will kind of come right down through as well if you don't want the, the, the snow to accumulate the opening mechanism for the louvers is just right here, uh, just on one of the corners here. It's a nice sturdy handle. And these, these louvers open up to, to 98 degrees all the way down to zero degrees. There they are all the way closed. And then to open them, we can just go there. The nice thing too is they can go just a little bit. So if you just want a little bit of sun, a little bit of uh, wind to be able to go through it you can really adjust the louvers to however you want them to go and they all they all move in sync too you don't have to open them up individually they're all they're all synced together with this mechanism all right included with the the pergola are these anchors there's four on each post that you would anchor this down i haven't anchored this down yet uh, I'm, I'm, I plan on doing it i just haven't gotten around to it and this thing is actually really solid this thing's probably 450 pounds as is and if it's windy we've actually just opened up the louvers and wind has been able to go right through it and this thing hasn't moved at all so putting these anchors in it includes the masonry bit to drill into concrete if you're putting it on wood a wood base like a deck or something like that you can just put a lag bolt through there but they include four on each post so there's 16 of these included and you just would drill down the length of this anchor tap it in you you, you tighten the bolt down it's going to grip into the concrete and it's gonna keep it nice and secure. So this was also very easy to assemble. You have two people, you can easily put this together with basic tools. The, 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 the fasteners are all Phillips head screwdrivers, so there's really no, no specialty tools that you need. All the posts slot together. These louvers are the only thing you have to really just place up on top and then you just screw those down. So installation is very simple. Also, I feel confident that I could move this if I needed to. So let's say you're moving or you wanna move locations to it. You can take this apart and move it without a whole lot of trouble, but also when it's built, it's going to be very sturdy. It's not going to move. It's going to be a, it can be a permanent structure if you need it.
here you can see with the louvers closed, it provides a great shade area underneath the pergola. My favorite feature of this pergola is the adjustable louvers. As you can tell here, the louvers are slightly opened, however, I'm still sitting in the shade. So you can adjust the louvers so they're open and still be sitting in the shade under the pergola louvers. This allows airflow to flow through the pergola, up through the louvers, and it remains nice and cool, nice and relaxing area to be under. So overall, we're really impressed with this pergola. This has been a great addition to our backyard. Before this lounge area, we had uh, some umbrellas here, and the umbrellas were always kind of a, a pain because you had to take them up, take them down. Uh, sometimes they would blow over, things like that. So this is this is a this is a great addition to that. These louvers that you can adjust, you know, different angles, closed or shut. They've been prov provided a great sun area, shade area under the pergola. Also, the fact that there's no maintenance to this. There's, it's not wooden. There's nothing you have to maintain. Really, the things just wipe off. If you, have, if you have any kind of dirt, debris on this, it just wipes right off. So there's really no maintenance to this. So I don't have to worry about maintaining this. Also, it's not going to rust. It's not going to stain my concrete because uh, something, if this was steel, it would, it would rust and, and stain my concrete. This is all be, being all aluminum, and it's not going to do that. Guys, okay, so this is a great pergola. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you, so you can look at this. Big shout out to Mirador for partnering with us and collaborating with us on this uh, particular uh, pergola. See the link down below. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to leave your comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Mm -hmm.